Uh, remember in 2016, uh, paper one, question four, and it's a proof by induction. Now, proof by induction, as I keep telling the own class, it's very easy to build up the marks. You just have to think of three easy steps and think of the word sap. So sap, verse one, step one, you've got to show that n is equal to one. It's true. What you've got to do is solving the value for one and for n, and it's divisible by seven. So we have minus one, seven. It's divisible by seven, which is true. Step two, assume, that's what your a, and assume, n is equal to k is true. So solving k for your n, this is what we said. Now we always go back to the assumption. Always go back to the assumption from your next step. And your final thing here, step three, prove your P of sap. Prove that n is equal to k plus one. It's true. Now the divisibility proof by induction is probably the easiest of the last. So in k plus one. Minus one. Now in this, you're going to have to reuse your, your rules for indices. Um, you're basically working backwards from this here, on page 21 of your formula book. So 8 to the k plus 1 is the same as 8 to the k plus 8 to the 1, or times 8 to the 1, sorry. So 8 to the k times 8 to the 1 minus 1 divisible by 7. Now we want to get, our sum, get this step looking like the assumption, and another wee thing to just keep in mind, if it's going to be divisible by 7, you're going to split up this 8 into 7 and 1. Now brackets, brackets mean multiply, multiply everything inside the bracket by what's outside. 7 times 8k. And now we have our assumption here, look. 8 to the k minus 1 divisible by 7. Now you don't need to highlight it in your exam, but just to show you here. There you go. Now from this, we can see that 7 times 8 to the k is divisible by 7. Um, so let's say even if we had the number 4, 4 is not divisible by 7, but 7 times 4, which is 28, is divisible by 7. You know, So any number multiplied by 7 will be divisible by 7. And that's it proven. So if we fire in a weak conclusion, just going through each of these steps, we see that n is equal to 1 is true. We assume that n is equal to k is true. And we prove that n is equal to k plus 1 is true. Therefore, true for all values of n is an element of n. Just taken from the question up there that I had.